Governor Shapiro's announcement about a 10 year water testing program comes as welcome news, but also the University of Pittsburgh and other universities have started their own testing program. Clients and staff inside Kathleen's Beauty Salon have a lot to say about how their lives changed after the Norfolk Southern train derailment. Get the sick residents who need to get out, out. So you know people who've gotten sick after the derailment? That would be me and several others, yes. East Palestine, February 3rd, last year, more than 100,000 gallons of vinyl chloride and other chemicals leaked from 11 tanker cars that were part of a derailment of more than three dozen rail cars. For the next 10 years, Governor Josh Shapiro says well water will be tested for people within a one mile radius of the derailment site. I do have well water at my house and what we were told out there was that it could possibly take up to 10 years for anybody to even see any evidence of it within the water. So yeah, 10 years makes me feel really good that it is going to be tested. Governor Shapiro says no groundwater contamination has been detected so far. However, the University of Pittsburgh and other universities receive grants from the National Institutes of Health to conduct their own studies. They will also measure the environmental impact from the train derailment. And we have started on this. Uh, go in and uh, draw blood, um, collect urine samples, and collect um, environmental samples. I mean, the initial concern, of course, was vinyl chloride, but um, we know a lot more about what was going on at the time, and we know that there is a lot more chemicals involved. Water testing by the state will be led by the Department of Environmental Protection. In Beaver County, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.